Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, also leave your opinions in the comments section below. Very importantly, don't forget to click on the like button. That's where you're able to encourage us to put out more content. Taiwo Basanjo, the estranged wife of former Nigerian president, Olusegun Basanjo, has been allegedly evicted from Abuja residence due to years of accumulated unpaid rent. According to Sahara reporters, the eviction took place on Friday, October 18, 2024, following a pay or vacate notice issued by the landlord of a property located at 30 Jesse Jackson Street in Asokoro. The landlord had previously granted Taiwo a 30-day notice to settle her rent arrears or vacate the premises, which she failed to comply with. Despite the warning, Taiwo remained in the apartment, leading to enforcement of the eviction. A source who spoke with Sarah reporters said Taiwo, wife of former president of Basenjo, was evicted by her landlord last Friday over unpaid rent in her apartment, which had even expired for years now. She is presently finding it hard to pay the house rent at our Sokuru residence. She was disgraced publicly and her properties were thrown outside. As I speak, the properties are still outside the building. Recall that in 2023, Taiwo Basenjo had publicly accused her estranged husband former President Lucia Gwon Basunjo of being a wicked husband during their time together. The exchange unfolded following a plea for forgiveness on his behalf, which came after he criticized traditional rulers in his saying, or your state, for not standing to greet him during an official event. While addressing the audience at a project inauguration, the retired general expressed his discontent with the traditional rulers, igniting controversy. Taiwo took it upon herself to request forgiveness for her husband's remarks, only to face sweet avowal from a passenger who claimed she was suffering from mental illness and asserted that she was neither his wife nor a member of his family despite their two children. In a retaliatory statement, Taiwo did not hold back, launching a scanty attack against a passenger. She accused him of arrogance and an unwavering belief in his power, further escalating their public feud. Speaking on the issues surrounding their marriage, in reply to a passenger, she said, have you not begged me many times in the past to come back to you, yet to query the state of my mental health? You loved me very much in the past, to the extent of even beating your first wife in the house because she insulted me. It is still very painful to you that I left you and I'm still alive. God has kept me. When I couldn't cope, I ran out and left your home because you were pushing me mad. By the way, can you provide the world the evidence that the one you put in your house now, the one you put in your house now as your missus, that you paid any bride price or took her to court to marry? She is simply answering your name because it is convenient for you. How many wives of yours did you marry officially? with all marriage ceremonies performed. Please tell the world. You or what are your thoughts? Let's have them in the comments section below. I think that, in my own opinion, I feel this is, you know, it's a shame on a passenger because even though he claims that she is no longer his wife, they are not together, obviously, but she bore him, she bore him children. You know, she gave birth to children for him, two children for that matter. And if um, it has come to a situation where the wife or the former wife, in this case now, can no longer afford to pay rent in a Sokoro apartment, there is no how people will continue to refer to her as Obasanjo's wife. Even till the day he dies, 
they will continue to mention that this is the wife of Obasanjo. So the the name would the connection is still there. The name would she I I think she she even still bears Obasanjo for that matter. So there is no way he's going to disassociate himself from her. And she not even able to pay the rent to her Sokuru apartment. It even will bring shame to him as well. Not even not only to her, but to him. As long as his name is still tied to her, it would also bring shame to him. So the right thing that I think Baba Obasanjo should do at this point is just to pay the to pay all of the um, accumulated rent. You know, all of the accumulated rent at this point. Why even? Why is she even still living in a in a rented apartment? Why, former wife of Obasanjo, even both former or both present? Why is she still living in a rented apartment in Abuja, for that matter? Hmm. Anyway, before we go, guys, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online. Victor Adolfo says. I am very much ashamed of Obasanjo himself for allowing such scandalous scenario, even if it were for the good days they both spent together. Exactly what I said. Even if it were for the good days they had together, the good day they spent together, they have children together for, for crying out loud, for God's sake. You know, they have children together. The, the, the bond is there, no matter what. Even if they, do, they no longer stay together or... You know they are they are they are estranged. The bond is still there. You should just look for a way, you know, to help her with this rent or to even establish her. Just do something or get her an apartment that she doesn't need to pay rent for. Um, another comment from Michael says, "When he begged you to come back, why didn't you go?" If you are not mentally sick, ah, uh, so because she did not go back, it means she's mentally sick. Hmm. Kinsley Maxwell says, "Let her reach out to her former husband. I know that Baba is a kind-hearted person. He will help her out. So we, we are going to find out if he's going to do something about it or not. Because since it's in the news, even if he doesn't see it directly, people are going to call his attention to it. People are going to tell him about it. So." You would obviously now know that my former wife has been, you know, chased out of an apartment. I need to do something about it if, in fact, he actually wants to. Abraham or Deyemi says, can't someone pay for her? Please, for the sake of God and Obasanjo, please, people with money, pay now, I beg. <laughs> Akachuko says, you left Obasanjo. And now you can't even pay your rent that you even got evicted after forming boss lady in Obasanjo house. Now see where you are. Hmm. Story. Other one don't pass. Um, another person says, Tenoye says, it's unfortunate that family dirty linen was watched publicly. But what are the children doing as to assist pleading on behalf of their mother on behalf of their mother? Furthermore, to ask the mother to tame a uh, acerbic, she should read the book of James 3 verse 1 to the end hmm. and be wise from all those vituperations. I can conclude she is not humble. Women should learn how to respect and honor their husbands. This question of claiming rights to me is silly and bukum. Where was she claiming right? If a marriage doesn't work, how is it as a result of the woman not being humble? I don't get. <laughs> you all, let me have your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank you very much for always listening and watching, guys. I will see you all in my next video.